What's up guys, I'm Robo here with Unashamed Gaming bringing you another Infinite Warfare beta video today. This one's going to be a showcase of a score streak, actually the AP3X score streak, which I do believe is the highest score streak you could have gotten in the beta minus the nuke. Um, which was only available with select weapons. The select weapon being one of the ones I'm using, actually. Um, this was a, a nuke weapon. Or uh, Basically, the way that works, if you don't know, is it's a variant um, that has the, the nuclear ability to where if you get 25 gun streak with that gun specifically, you um, receive a nuclear kill streak, which does not end the game in, in objective-based game modes. It only kills the entire team. In TDM, it would end the game, I believe. I think that's how it works. Um, or maybe it does end objective-based game modes, but it doesn't automatically win them or, or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but anyway, showcasing that kill streak, um, the APRX in this one, or AP3X, rather, sorry. Um, which I did not know at the time what that kill streak was, so you, this isn't a good map for it. If you don't know what that is already, you'll see what I mean in a second, um, which frustrates me. But I'll talk again more about that when I get it here and here in a little bit. Um, I am excited to to play the full game. I by the end of the beta, I didn't play the second weekend. But by the end of the beta, I was um, getting to where I understood it a little better and having a little bit more fun on the game. Um, this game is, you definitely have to, to understand it to enjoy it, in my opinion. If you try and play it like any other Call of Duty, um, it's not going to work out. It is uh, unlike any Call of Duty that we've ever had. So in order to enjoy it, I will say you do have to to really understand the game and um, understand how it flows and the movement, which you know, you can't really learn that in the amount of time you play a beta, but you can start to, and I was starting to at this point in time. Um, so that being said, um, when the game does come out, it's going to be one of those Call of Duties more than ever that you're just going to have to grind, I think, in order to to get the, the full... Uh, I don't know, just to really get the full effect of the game, to really understand the game, and then to enjoy the game. At least that's my, you know, my thoughts on it. Because um, again, unlike any Call of Duty ever um, that I've ever played, so I keep thinking I'm on, the, I'm going on the streak that's that's going to give me this kill streak, but I don't seem to end up. I always seem to end up dying. Here's some more eraser eraser clips. I don't know if I showed any eraser in any of my previous videos, but it just basically turns people into a cloud of Cheeto dust, um, which is kind of cool. Uh, it's, you know, basically an annihilator, really, but um, I don't know how I feel about the specialist weapons in this game. They they don't seem super OP for the most part, um, but they seem to last a long time, so I don't know. Again, I am against specialists and abilities, but if they're going to be in it, at least... Uh, you know, make them, make them not dumb, which they don't seem to be too bad so far in this. Um, I didn't use any of the new ones, like I said. I just have the basic the basic ones from the first beta. Um, but that being said, um, this one's pretty cool. It was my favorite one to use. It, it was easy to use, um, very, very fast. You could basically rapid fire it, so that was that was the benefit of it. If there was just a clump of them, you could just rapid fire into it. it didn't have much auto aim, if any. Um, kind of like the Annihilator in that sense, I guess. But I believe coming up here is where I do get the score streak. Um, I think, now that I say that. Yeah, coming up. You'll see I also got the I don't remember what that other one's called now that I look at it. Alright, so this is that score streak that I was talking about. The AP3X. And it is the highest score streak, again, that you could get in the game. Um, and it's basically like a Talon, essentially. I mean, it kills really fast, and I think it would behave more like a Chopper Gunner um, if it was on a bigger map, but obviously you can't really fly it around on this map. And I also didn't know it was going to be a controlled one when I called it in, so I ended up detonating it, um, as you saw there. Um, and getting out of it because I was in a, I knew I was on a good streak and I wanted to maintain that streak and of course died right here after 
you know, four of them rush me. Um, and then I call in this this thing here, whatever it's called, which is essentially a uh, what you call it from Black Ops Three, um, the Sentry Bot, whatever it's called. But it seemed to work the same way. I don't know if it might be a little better, a little worse. I think it was a little bit higher. I think it was the second highest score streak, and I have a different gameplay to showcase that one. Um, but that that's it, guys. That's the AP3X. Um, I don't know if anyone's seen that yet or not. Um, but again, I think it was the highest score streak available in Black Ops or in the Infinite Warfare beta. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, we should be returning to regularly scheduled remaining gun up or gun videos that I may have and Modern Warfare Remastered campaign in the coming days. We'll see you guys later. God bless.